A new organization, Temple Coalition for Change, spearheaded a protest against racism on campus and police brutality. Students, faculty, and community members took to Cecil B. Moore to protest and march. While marching, they stopped next to Temple's Campus Safety Services Administration building and held a moment of silence for victims of police brutality. At the bell tower, different organizations such as Stadium Stompers and Raft Caucus spoke. While they have different goals, they have one main message. They want Temple to be more supportive of the surrounding community. The school my brothers and sisters went to have been bulldozed for soccer fields. It is our responsibility. We are the ones who put Temple here. We are Temple and it's time for us to take responsibility for the impacts that we've had on this neighborhood. We need to hold our administration and board of trustees accountable. After the teach and demonstrators signed the list of demands Temple Coalition for Change is asking for. The list includes defunding TUPD, providing job security for instructors, and altering the student code of conduct. The list was left on the steps of Sullivan Hall for President Englert. One of the members of Temple Coalition for Change and organizers of the event, Jack Fletcher, commented on President Englert's recent retirement announcement. Um, we want to put together a representative and democratic process that will allow our community, um, faculty, campus workers, students, everyone to uh, have their say, uh, have a vote, and uh, hopefully have a president who can represent his community instead of just more justice. Max Avener, a non-tenured track instructor, emphasized that this fight shouldn't just be coming from students. I think that every single person who's on the faculty at Temple has a responsibility to our students, um, to our colleagues, to the community whose land we're using um, to care and to listen and to try to make change. A Temple Coalition for Change member and organizer, Alexandra Gordon, is looking forward to change after today's demonstration. But we hope that now is a time that we can tackle both in person and online for Temple to make actual change. But that's only if our voices are actually heard. And we saw our voices being heard today. Even if it's by us, it's a start. Reporting for Temple Update, I'm Monica Logroño. We are the people, we are not the